Welcome to Tech Topics. My name is Darren Woolard and I'm a cloud architect here at Nutanix. In this session, I'll show you how simple it is to migrate workloads from an on-prem Nutanix private cloud across to a public cloud. But before hopping into that demo, I would like to start to run through a few points. Running Nutanix in the public cloud is actually no different to using standard OEM hardware. We install directly onto bare metal with the same AOS code base, and there's definitely no need for complicated network overlays or consultancy services to get it up and running. A typical three node Nutanix cluster will take around 40 minutes to stand up and will be ready to run workloads immediately. In this demonstration, I have a Nutanix cluster hosted in one of our own data centers and another one in AWS. The process and steps involved to deploy a cluster into the public cloud are quite simple. To begin with, you must define a virtual private cloud on your public cloud provider. As part of the Nutanix cluster setup wizard, you just need to run through a few things. You need to provide an organization and the cluster name, provide the public cloud account credentials for authorization, the region where you want to run the cluster in, and the cluster size itself. Further details of these steps can be reviewed at the URL that's now displayed at the bottom of this screen. These steps actually have already been completed in my demo environment, so we'll just be viewing our management console, which is called Prism, and the steps to complete the migration. Okay, let's get started. Before I head further into this demo of migrating a virtual machine from a Nutanix cluster that's on-prem in a data center over to the public cloud, I just want to show you the Nutanix clusters portal, just to show that there is a Nutanix cluster in AWS, as we can see, in the Frankfurt data center as shown here, the version of the Nutanix software, plus some information specifically around the AWS cluster itself. Right, let's switch over to our Prism Central uh, management console. This is where I manage all of my Nutanix clusters in my demo environment. I have four of them here. I'm gonna focus specifically in this demonstration on Nutanix private cloud and the Acme database cluster. Those are the two I'll be focusing on. Now, I've already created a virtual machine in my environment. I have called it uh, TT for Tech Topics and App Server, just a fictional name as if it was an application server that we're looking to migrate uh, to the public cloud. Just to show you that it's actually running at this moment in time, I click Launch Console and it's running nothing more than just a basic OS, just to prove the point for this migration. Now, when I click on the uh, virtual machine, I can delve further into the details. I've already defined some other areas as well. It belongs to a category at this moment. I've called it, again, TT for Tech Topics Web Servers, just as an example. There's my virtual machine name, which belongs to this category. The category then has some policies defined against it, two of them. There's a protection policy. If I click on that, it will show some of the details we have here. So the location is the on-prem as shown, and the recovery will be the one that's hosted in AWS and with an RPO of one day. As well as that protection policy, I need a recovery plan, what to do when I want to do this recovery. So let's just click on this. Same details, very similar to what we had on the protection side a moment ago. I also have some added functionality. I can validate to make sure that everything I've defined is correct. I can even do a test migration as well. So this requires some extra network to be defined, but I could move virtual machines from one location to another. They would remain isolated in a test bubble. So I could prove the functionality of those virtual machines was still there, that they would operate. And this would be very useful if we're having to evidence this to perhaps our audit departments as well. Just close that view down. So that's what I can see about this virtual machine based on its category. So I'm just going to go to the policies view and to the recovery plans. This is where you would define all different types of plans for your workloads and depending on how many Nutanix clusters or public cloud providers you had, you would have different ones for different reasons. Mine is the tech topics migrate to AWS. I'm going to click on that screen we saw just a moment ago. I've already run a validation, as we can see, it succeeded when I ran this earlier on. So I'm actually now going to run a failover. 
I have the option to run a planned or an unplanned. So planned, of course, would be far more graceful. Unplanned would be if I had some issues around the uh, cluster and I just needed to switch locations. Let me select my source cluster, which is my private cloud on-prem. And my target will be my hosted one on AWS. As it already shows here, fading over a total of one virtual machine. I'm going to click fail over. As we can see, this has been accepted and it says failover has been initiated successfully. And now there's a progress bar to show exactly what's happening. So I'm gonna let this run through and we'll come back to this in a moment. So the migration has finished now. And as we can see, it took just over six minutes to complete and then it's powered it on afterwards. Uh, that six minutes would have been the transfer of change data from the original on-prem Nutanix cluster over to the one that's hosted on AWS. So let's go and find this in the inventory. It should now show us that the VM is hosted indeed in AWS. And then we will be able to have a look at it. So let's have a hunt for it in my inventory. And sure enough, here it is. Slightly different IP address now. This is the one that's over in the public cloud. I launch a console. We'll prove that it has actually been turned on, which is true. This, of course, in this demo would be uh, in a crash consistent state. So the last time I showed it, it was already logged in. It's been completely powered off and powered back on again. So let me just type in the password. Log back in. And as we would expect, Windows has acknowledged that it's not been shut down correctly, which is true because it was a snapshot that had the replicated data sent across. So that concludes the demo of migrating from a Nutanix on-prem cluster over into the public cloud. So there we have it. You've seen how simple it is to migrate virtual machines from a Nutanix cluster in our own data center to one that's hosted in the public cloud. For more details on the requirements for integrating your own on-prem Nutanix cluster with a public cloud provider, visit the documents listed below. To keep up to date on all of our Nutanix University videos, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.